Get ready to dive into Snyderverse because we have got some exclusive scoop on Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon franchise. The hype for part 1 is real, but guess what? We have got a sneak peek into part 1, The Scar Giver, and it's mind blowing. Netflix just dropped the first image and it's giving us major science fiction vibes. But hold on, before we get into nitty gritty, mark your calendars because Ravel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, is hitting Netflix on April 19, 2024. Yep, you heard it right, 2024. Now let's unravel the mysteries. You know Snyder is the mastermind behind creating immersive worlds, right? From characters, galore, to intricate storylines. He doesn't just make movies, he crafts experiences. Rebel Moon is no exception. It's his space opera, initially drummed up a Star Wars movie but now evolving into something even more colossal. And the titles, A Child of War, Part 1 of the Saga, has a double meaning. Princess Isa, mysterious robots called Jimmy War, Orphan Gora. It's all intervent. But what about part two? The scar giver, well, Kaura, played by Sofia Botella, is not just any character, she's the scar giver, linked to Princess Isa in a way that will blow your mind. So what can you expect from the Rebel Moon? Picture this, a distant colony harassed by a tyrant government and a rebel mission led by enigmatic Kaura to form an army against oppression. Part 1 drops on December 22 and it sets the stage. But hold your horses because part 2 is where the real war unfolds. Snyder himself spills the tea, mentioning crop, harvesting, village vibes, relationships, and then, bam, the epic battle. 